I think every good story starts off by imagining something. See how people respond to me, you know, as a woman, as a woman of color, as me here. And then I'll go home at night and I'll take out that laptop and I'll start to imagine something else, you know. It was never about, yeah, it wasn't about, oh, you're a little girl, so you must be better than the little boys. But it was about, man, you're the best, you better be the best, you know. I think what's been really beautiful about um, the journey that Go Without a Sound has been on is that, so it started off as me writing a story um, in response to how I felt as a little girl and the ways in which I felt like I didn't have a voice. It's important for women to see themselves represented in writing, in movies, in paintings, in everything, just because as soon as you start to see yourself, you reflect yourself. You know, from the second that I released this book, it got so much support, it found the right, the right places, the right homes to, and families to nurture it and Nalibali's been one of those. So to now have four languages when we started off with one is honestly one of the most overwhelming things that has ever happened to me. When it's a project full of heart and love and when it's not just about me having written a book, when it's about a movement.